In this video, I will show you how to edit my size comparison video template in PowerPoint. For this template to work, you will need to have PowerPoint 2016 or newer, because it will use the morphing animation. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. First, you want to download the template from the Dropbox folder. The link to the Dropbox folder can be found in the description. Once you open up the template, you will see the default information, which is the top 10 tallest buildings in the world. The template consists of a couple of elements. There's a title card where you can put the number and the name, and this one will appear and disappear. There's a picture of the object that you want to compare, and in this example it's a tower. There's an animated dotted red line that will measure the object. This one will appear and disappear as well. There's a text box that shows the size, and this one will appear and disappear. And at last, there's also a little text box that's not shown on the first slide, and it will appear above the smaller images of the objects. When we go to the next slide, the object from the previous slide will become smaller and will be placed on the other side of the slide. And then the little text box that I just mentioned will appear. And now it's time to edit it. Let's start by editing the text. You can click on any text object and change everything. I will change the text and the font of the title card. You want to click on the text box and edit the text. And you then want to go to home in the ribbon and there you can change the font to whatever you like. I then change the picture. Right click on the image and click on change picture. Make sure you change the picture to the object that you want to compare. You then want to look up the size of this object and edit the text next to it as well. You might want to move the text around a little bit so that it looks better. After that, you want to change the red dotted line. You click on the line and move it around. Move it so that the line goes from top to bottom on the object on the picture. You can hold the shift key to make your lines more straight. You now want to go to the next slide and right click on the smaller object at the bottom left. Here you change the image to the one on the previous slide. You might want to crop this image. Click on the image, go to picture format in the ribbon and click on crop. The morph transition will still work after you've cropped the image. A little complication that can but not always happens is that this smaller image still has an animation on it which is something you don't want. You can check this by clicking on animations in the ribbon and opening up the animation pane. You click on the image and if an animation highlights on the animation pane, you delete this. And again, this does not always happen. After you've cropped and changed the smaller picture, you want to copy and paste this to every subsequent slide, like shown on screen. You also want to copy and paste the text. Make sure you don't copy the text box but only select the text. You do this by double clicking on the text box and selecting the text. You now know the basics on how to edit this template and how to make it work properly. You just want to repeat the previous steps. And now I've got some quick tips. If you want to add more than 10 sizes, you want to copy and paste the second to last slide and you want to make sure that the smaller images on the left are all just a little bit smaller so that another one fits in as well. You can change the background by right clicking on it and clicking on change picture. Here you can change the picture. To change the color go to design in the ribbon and click on format background. Here you can change the background color and make sure you click on apply all as well. You can change the colors of the dotted line, all the text boxes and the red bar in the middle. Just click on it, go to shape format in the ribbon and click on shape fill. Here you can change the color. And at last I will show you how to convert this powerpoint into a video. You want to go to file in the ribbon and click on export. Here you click on create a video. Make sure you put the video on best quality and keep the timings and narration on use recorded timing and narrations. You then click on create video. 
And there you have it. I hope this video helped. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.